Hey, good morning, boys. It's uh, January 8th today. And uh, again, we're in the Sermon on the Mount. Um, so Matthew 6, right in the middle of it. Um, uh, so there's a little bit, certainly from Genesis there, that I caught some interest there as well. Um, but I really wanted to talk, talk about Matthew 6 today, especially about that beginning part of it where Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Um, and so he's talking about, well, in the NIV, he's talking about not worrying. In the ESV, the phrase is, uh, do not be anxious about your life. Um, um, so just want to talk about that here for a second or two. Um, something that he brings up over and over again in this section. He says that that phrase, do not be anxious, do not worry, depending on the translation. And really what he's talking about is uh, worrying about having control of your life, what you're going to eat or drink or wear. Now, those are the basic necessities of life, and even those very um, basic things we can't control for ourselves. And I think uh, something I deal with with people a lot is this issue of control. It comes up in marriages and marital counseling. It comes up in um, just every kind of situation that people face as somewhat having a lack of control and coming to grips with that. So I think that's one of the things that God wants to teach us um, deeply is that we actually don't have control, that we aren't in control of what's happening around us. And that means that we need to rely on him. He is in control. And so we need to be content with that. We need to acknowledge that. And a big part of prayer, I think, is um, just letting God know that he is in control. Um, one of the things that Jesus prays in that uh, uh, the prayer that he gives to his disciples there, right? The Lord's Prayer, he says, give us this day our daily bread. Um, and so we're supposed to ask God even for those basic necessities because we can't cause them ourselves. We can't bring them about ourselves by our own power. Um, so there's a tension, certainly, between being responsible and doing everything that you can, can to provide for yourself, food and water and clothing, certainly not being lazy or just expecting it to fall out of the sky for you. There's a tension between that and between, you know, acknowledging that God really is the one in control. And um, it's, it's hard, I think, to give up that um, feeling of dependence or independence and uh, self-sufficiency, um, something that we strive for, something that we re uh, respect in each other, something we expect from each other is that we would be independent and um, and not need somebody else's help. But the fact of the matter is, uh, that's kind of crazy. Uh, we cannot cause our own next breath or um, the bread that we eat or water that we drink to uh, to appear. Um, those all uh, require God's input. And I often think about what would happen if there was a, you know, a huge uh, disaster. I don't know what it would take. Uh, maybe a collision with the earth with a huge asteroid or something that knocked us up bottle back into the stone age i don't know how long i would survive i don't know how to make uh, how to grow my own food really or go find the uh, the seeds necessary for that or or survive while those things were, were growing i think it would be a you know a very perilous existence uh, for me i am dependent on others to uh, make my food whether i can buy it or not but so i wonder then uh, how, what kind of dependence i would learn on on the, uh, my dependence on the Lord from that. Um, and, you know, people of Israel in the Old Testament really were in a day-to-day -day situation. If God doesn't send rain at the right times, food doesn't grow. And we may come to that point um, where literally uh, things are not on the shelves for us to buy, um, but have to produce our own food. Who knows? But the value of it is to understand that God is the one in control, that our own anxieties, our own worries aren't going to produce what we need. So we need to turn to him in dependence and acknowledge that. And live with that as a constant reality for us. All right, just a thought for today. I'm going to let you go and see you tomorrow, Lord willing. Bye now.